One can find um, the historic crafts in this area through public collections in various museums like the William King Museum's Cultural Heritage Collection, in the Crab Orchard Museum in Tazewell County, the Southwest Virginia Museum in Big Stone Gap, and at the Blue Ridge Institute at Ferrum College in Ferrum, Virginia, and other smaller museums. The Museum of the Middle Appalachia in Saltville has a nice collection. I would have to say that for the most part though, many, many things are still in private homes. Heirlooms, family heirlooms that are still in the family and still used today as they were intended to be used. The intention here at the park when we uh, began the construction process was to recreate a fort the way that they did in 1775. And we dressed in 18th century clothes, we only used 18th century tools, we ate 18th century food, and um, we, were, we literally lived here for approximately seven months. And uh, the result was an 18th century fort. There is nothing like it here now, and there was nothing like it here when it was built. Uh, it's, it, it was a unique property from the very beginning. It's an elegant house. When it was built, it was in the middle of frontier territory. And um, that an elegant house was built here was very special. That it was preserved and survived makes it very special. I like to think, personally, that the house uh, was a statement um, by its builder, uh, William Preston, not just a testament to him, his own position and wealth, but a statement of permanent settlement here on the frontier. The people who settled here um, left their mark on this area. We have uh, people from different areas that settled here in the beginning, and part of that's seen here with the log cabins that we have at the homestead. We can just sit on the carpet squares. It's important for the children who visit because they're able to learn about life long ago and learn about the settlers who originally settled here and, and see artisans at work and the way of life from long ago. They're able to see how sheep are sheared and wool is spun into yarn and how blacksmith works. So they're, they're able to see what life was like from long ago. And, and if they can see it, they can learn it and remember it if they can see it done firsthand.